subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates. Tropical storm Delta is intensifying in the Caribbean Sea right now. A new tropical storm, the 26th tropical cyclone of the year in the Atlantic. You remember this one for a while. 16 degrees north, 78.9 degrees west and moving south of Jamaica right now, moving westwards. Uh, there it is right now as of noon uh, on the US East Coast. 45 miles per hour, pressure of 1,002 millibars, intensifying though at this time, a CDPS stage 4. Looking at the CDPS, we're looking at Morgan City, Louisiana for a potential landfall on Friday. And we're looking at significant winds, possibly Category 2 by the time it moves ashore. Um, significant size of the storm as well. Rainfall, maybe 6 plus inches along the storm's track. It will be moving at a decent speed so that hopefully the storm won't stall and produce a huge amount of rain anywhere. Here it is right now though, a small wind field at the moment. Uh, you can see extending out 40 miles to the eastern side. Um, which is still quite a, a way from Jamaica. Uh, currently a hurricane warning in effect for Pinar del Rio, which uh, the storm is currently 536 miles from. Hurricane watch for the Cuban province of Artemisa and a tropical storm warning for the Cayman Islands and the Isle of Youth, which is also under a watch as well. So this is what everyone's saying right now. The uh, satellite estimates a little bit lower than what the National Hurricane Center is saying, but ASCAT supports the 45 mile per hour winds, so we're running with that right now. Could be an argument that the storm is a bit stronger. The forecast track takes the storm just west of the western tip of Cuba. Uh, will probably be a hurricane by then as well, maybe even rapidly intensifying along somewhere along its journey. Uh, we expect at the moment a Category 2 peak, that's what the National Hurricane Center is saying, although it's a somewhat uncertain picture. We know what the Gulf of Mexico is like and the uh, the southern Gulf, I should say, and the Caribbean Sea, particularly in October, um, we could see significant intensification beyond what is currently forecasted. So let's take a look at what the GFS model is saying. First of all, this is the precipitable water. You can see the influence of both Gamma and Delta there on the screen. Delta really steals the show later on, and then it moves ashore uh, Louisiana, then off into Mississippi and beyond. Um, really steals a lot of Gamma's energy. Gamma will be dying off. Um, somewhere near the Yucatan or uh, down towards the coast near Campeche and then you've also got there a delta moving through and maybe one or two systems in the eastern Pacific as well just in case anyone was interested in that uh, but Delta's influence will be well with you in on the US Gulf Coast by the end of the week sea surface temperatures ahead of the storm are fairly warm right now um, 83 degrees Fahrenheit there 84 even that's 29 degrees Celsius sea surface temperatures drop off just before landfall on the US Gulf Coast though so it should be weakening when it makes landfall there's uh, you can see the GFS wind model there the storm shoots the gap the Yucatan Channel rather small initially then it grows a little bit before making landfall and you saw there just weakened a little bit as it did so uh, but we're expecting at least a category 2 as it moves on through the Gulf. Now CTCX a bit more bullish category 4 peak it's saying um, we've not had too many models go that high just yet that could change with time um, and now we're looking at the wind shear you can see there drops to very low values uh, tomorrow in particular it will start to rise on the 7th sea surface temperatures very conducive tomorrow again that will start to drop on the 7th relative humidity is decent so almost prime conditions for the next 48 hours of this storm's life uh, so we'll see how well it gets by the time it reaches the western tip of Cuba which will say a lot about its future track. So this is how the storm's been developing today, rather small in size and certainly in wind field but certainly looking like it's organizing pretty well right now um, and it's going to continue to move towards the northwest. It hasn't fully made that turn northwest yet but it looks like it's going to keep dry air out. Wind shear certainly not a problem. It's developing pretty well. Recon planes will be in the storm later today to assess how well the storm's doing on the inside and we'll have a better idea on what it's going to do next. So you can join us live on our 24-7 automated hurricane tracker. Just search youtube.com forward slash force 13 slash live. And we'll have live commentary there today at 4 p.m. Eastern Time.